I want to try you out on, on this as well. And I, d I haven't run a theatre company yet, really, so I don't really know. But the artistic leadership of, the, of a theatre company has two relations, two avenues of relationship to its community. Mm -hmm. Through its programming and through its audiences mm -hmm. is one relationship to the community. Yep. The other relationship to the community is through the board. Absolutely. And the board is the relation to, in theory, the responsible community for the theatre. Has that relationship through the boards shifted because our attitudes towards arts, towards live performing arts, has that shifted and that's come down through the boards? Do you, <laughs> I mean, given the first board that you describe at MTC, yep. you say, Not well, TNB. you're running yep. the theater, <coughs> yep. as opposed to the board that Ken Gass dealt with or the board yep. that Matthew Jocelyn was dealing with. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm laughing now because we talked about premiers before and smaller than that and how theater can transform. Well, theater created the first female prime minister or premier of the province of PEI. When I was hired to do the festival in 87, 86, I was hired to do 80, start in 87. Colin McMillan, the doctor, was the chairman of the board. And I went down to announce my season in December. And there was a new chairman of the board then. I announced my season and included in the season, they, I was asked to change the direction and the flavor of the Charlottetown Festival, open it up. So I was doing a show called Are You Lonesome Tonight? Alan Bleasdale's play with music about the last night of Elvis's life. Great, great show. Oh my God, <laughs> what a great show. Well, I had a staff member I went down and applied to it and all the rest of it. Had a great Christmas, went down to Florida to visit my dad over Christmas. I got a phone call from the new chairman of the board saying, we can't possibly do this play. So, oh, no, no, the language is too strong, blah, blah, blah. I got back to a little meeting and found out that somebody had given her a script. And in it, there's a scene in which Elvis is performing on television, and the producer is off camera, and he says the, the F word 14 times while Elvis is performing. Well, she wasn't going to have this. Luckily, I had a great executive director of the center, Brian Anthony, who said, hey, I don't pick the plays. He's the artistic director. He picked the plays. The board approved the plays. That's it. Well, Catherine Colbeck called a meeting of the board and said, either this show is canceled or I quit. The board voted to keep the show. She walked out, walked into a press conference, quit. Next year, she became leader of the Liberal Party and became the first female <laughs> premier of the province of Always. PEI. <laughs> and when she... <laughs> When she was, we had the Winter Games in PEI, and she was premier, and she asked me if I would direct the opening ceremony. <laughs> yep, and she's a senator now, and she knows where she lives. Yeah, uh, she got her <laughs> health card. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you know, you talk about boards. Well, there was a board that was very supportive right. of me right. in that context. Uh, <laughs> When I went to the Vancouver Playhouse, there were $227,000 in debt. There were 28 people on the board. And my first meeting with the whole board, uh, I kept getting questions. There's some people I think, don't think were very happy that I was there. But I kept getting all these questions about what I was going to do, what I was going to do, what I was going to do. And finally, I said, almost jokingly, I said, well, you've asked me what I'm going to do. Now I'm asking you what you're going to do. We had this debt. $220,000. Well, what I want from each of you is, I want you to give me $10,000, or give me somebody who can give me $10,000, or find me goods and services to the value of $10,000. I lost eight board members that night, and we wiped out the debt. They came through. They came through. 